Well, from harmless animals to deadly animals, we're going to turn to that deadly mauling at a big cat sanctuary. A worker bitten by one of the animals with rescue officials left helpless as they were forced to deal with other big cats running loose. ABC's Rena Ninen is here with more. A lot of people wondering how could this happen, Rena? Absolutely. This habitat is actually a last resort for abused and neglected wildcats. It opened in 2001, and this morning they're trying to figure out how this all happened. It was at this animal sanctuary wildcat haven in Sherwood, Oregon, home to nearly 60 cats, that an employee was killed. It's a little disconcerting, especially when you first moved here, but it is disconcerting knowing that they're up there. First responders arrived on scene after 7 p.m., the haven already pitch black. Talking to the other officers who were on scene and the medical responders too, it's dark. Uh, this is a pretty remote area here. So remote that emergency vehicles have trouble accessing the area and not knowing where the other cats might be. Rescuers were too afraid to head into the area on foot. So yeah, they were pretty concerned walking in there. They, they told me that uh, it was risky. Rescue crews didn't make it to the caretaker in time. It breaks your heart. It I'm sad. I'm, you know, still kind of unnerved. Wildcat Haven's website describes the facility as a last hope for more than 60 wildcats that have been abandoned or abused, including bobcats, cougars, lynx, and tigers. Details still remain as to how the caretaker died and whether it was an accident or an animal simply escaped. It's also not clear exactly what kind of cat killed the employee. The sheriff's office says the investigation, the incident, will be investigated. Of course, it's a horrible incident, and we've seen others like it in this country. Exactly. Thank you, Rena. Mm -hmm.